Hey guys, really good news. Our, the west side of our park is complete. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick tour. So, if you recall historically, we initially purchased these five acres and we immediately worked on the back. So the back spaces that are full back here are what we built first and we built a circular road. So this road circular circles around to make a big loop, okay? So these first nine spaces, so here's spot nine right here, this spot. These first nine spaces are not open yet. We are waiting on our last septic permit to be final, and then we could move folks into these spaces and these can go live. But there's nine spaces right here from spot one all the way to the front right here. Then we have, after spot nine, we have our septic field. This is actually septic field one, I think. Septic field two and three are in the middle. In septic field four, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Oh, actually, no, it's one to four. So this is septic field four. Okay, so there's four fields, four conventional systems. Um, so here's the spaces. That's a random dog. No idea who that is. Park dog, maybe. Um, here's the interior spaces. Okay, so you can see the the tenants, so that the folks that are coming in will drive their vehicle up and they will back in to their spot here just like so um, preferably parking to the back right of their space and that's where the hookups are also the set things back there as well um, yeah so these are the middle spaces and um, we also had a problem where folks would drive there's a there's basically an easement or a or a road from the neighbor's property right next door to us so it's right here you can see it people were driving through the septic field or they're driving through the backs of spots um and so we for now instead of fences we put logs up a bunch of logs uh from other projects as well our neighbors or friends and we brought those logs, cut them up, and just set them along the road to protect that area. Because this area right here, when it's just freshly disturbed, is very, very, very soft. Uh, we've already had a truck get caught back over there. So we put some some logs, you can just see them actually, right next to their RV, protecting the areas they should not be driving. Um, you'd be surprised where, where people will drive. Um, and actually you can see it really well now. So here's, we can see right here our electricity on the very top of this pole is our Starlink satellite. So somehow Elon Musk sends down the internet down here to this box and this box fires off the Wi-Fi to the park. Um, so overall, let's do a quick walkthrough. I'll turn the camera around so you can see it. So there's spot nine right there. There's spot eight. Um, here's spot seven. You can see we have spot 38, 39 right here, which we recently opened up. We already got two folks that are staying right here in the middle. We kept this really big, beautiful tree, which is super helpful. I think a really big help. I think this actual, this RV is gonna end up in this spot. Um, shaded spots are really, really good and important. Um, over here in the middle, in the very front of the park, we have three pull-through spots. So you see pull-through spot number one, pull-through spot number two, and pull-through spot number three. The longer spaces we charge more for, um, and they're pretty attractive to the tenants as well too. So especially trees. Trees are really a big deal. We have this big tree right here. We have this big tree we kept over here and we had to move spaces around and do adjustments to the road to keep the trees but the trees make it really really nice we call it 
<clears throat> well, I'll tell you the name later. But anyway, yeah, we make it. We want it to be full of trees, peaceful. There's even some parking right here for some of the tenants if they need extra parking as well for some of the shorter spots. Um, we do have, again, some of these uh, sprinkler heads are out. And the reason why is because we're trying to water some of the hydro mulch which is this green stuff right here that this seed they spray it out and then grass grows like crazy later in a few days hopefully next week once the grass starts sprouting we're watering once the grass starts sprouting we'll be able to um get our last permit sprouted and permit so all right that's your update for now